Now, in July last year, we told you about this. The UK's first mega lab has opened in Warwickshire with the aim of boosting the coronavirus testing capacity. The Rosalind Franklin Laboratory in Leamington Spa is expected to process hundreds of thousands of samples a day and respond to new variants. The government says it would ultimately create 1,500 jobs. But now the worst of the COVID crisis is over, a report in The Independent and a separate investigation by the BBC have looked into how much the project has cost and what's going to happen to it now testing has stopped. BBC CWR's Hannah Griffiths reports. The mega lab, as it was dubbed, was first announced by the then Health Secretary Matt Hancock in November 2020 with a plan for it to do up to 300,000 coronavirus tests a day and employ up to 2,000 people. But now a report in The Independent and an investigation by BBC CWR has found it never came close to reaching its full capacity. After months of delays, it officially opened in July 2021 and it was slow to get going. Our figures from a Freedom of Information request show by October last year it was running 23,000 tests a day. By January this year it was doing 38,000 tests a day. Questions have to be asked about why it's cost so much money for just 30,000 tests a day given there's existing networks of laboratories out there, NHS laboratories, uh, that could be doing uh, that sort of work. As the lab wasn't being used at full strength, it also didn't deliver the full number of jobs, employing 823 people at its peak. No one was available from the government to speak to us, and the local Conservative councils have told us this was a matter for the UK HSA. The UK Health Security Agency says it was never the plan to do 300,000 tests a day in Leamington unless that was needed. Instead, the plan was to be able to scale up to that quickly if required, and it just wasn't needed. But they say that budget and spend is tracked through a robust governance process and that that is regularly reviewed to ensure value for taxpayers. So I would like to uh, call on UK HSA uh, to, to have an immediate inquiry uh, into this project as well, because the taxpayer needs to know why so much money has been wasted. The lab's future is not yet clear. It could be mothballed, or it's been suggested it could be used for testing the BRCA breast cancer gene, or be used to carry out genetic screening for high cholesterol. Hannah Griffiths, BBC Midlands Today.